Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more EU4 with the 1.19 Denmark patch as Castile. We're trying to be Spain. So, uh, let's go ahead and prepare for a war, I think, with um, Morocco. And Tunis, technically. How strong is Tunis? Actually, have 18,000 men. Not bad. So, those guys both outnumber me together. However, if I, if I divide and conquer... We're fine. Clergy are above their influence now. That sucks. Uh, we have a disaster. Dominance of the clergy. We might have to... Let's see how how that's going to happen. Cardinal and the administration is going to go away pretty soon. In 1495. 14, 1485 November. Okay, we're fine. No, that disaster is going to disappear. Our Carrick is done. Let's go ahead and declare on Morocco. We're a military tech level ahead of them. Holy crap, we're going to be capped out of military points here pretty soon. Let's wait until... Um, can I grant an admiral ship? I mean, I want to, but it puts these guys over a little too much influence, the burgers. So, I can't do that. And I could for the nobility, though. I can actually get a general... Nice, it's a 3-3-2. Kick ass. Let's go and pick him and get rid of this other guy because he sucks. Uh, where's the 17th stack? They're here in the streets of Gibraltar. We'll arrive in the streets of Gibraltar. This stack, okay. Portugal looks to be um, assembling some troops. I think they're moving down the coast of Africa. Let's go and actually build up a spy network, see if I can steal some of their maps. Let's declare. Declare for, I think, Fez. We're going to try and take most of the coast, I imagine. Should I... Oh, no, I can't kill Bridget to Nis. We've got full manpower. I think we're going to do just fine. We've engaged in mountains. Combat width's unaffected. It's just a minus two roll. It's not too big of a deal, though. We have never those guys like two to one. Sort of. Uh, where are you going, Garb? Can't get past those. Okay. Um. I guess we're just going to sit on Fez for a minute. Well, let's actually go ahead and replenish. I think we're going to replenish from Tangiers. Let's go and hang out there for a second. <clears throat> I can call in Portugal, actually. Portugal will join me in this war. It's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, sure, why not, Portugal? Come on in, buddy. Sweet. Wait, did I send the cult arms? What happened? Oh, no. Okay, so they accepted. Okay, so they accepted. Um, who's the emperor? Saxony's still the damn emperor? Wow. Okay. Stack white, please. No, no stack white. We're going to go ahead and engage over here. We're going to engage the Tunisians. We're going to reinforce the Portuguese. Thank you for holding out, Portugal. Yep. Won that battle decisively as well. Damn, that sucks. They retreated right there, huh? All right, if you say so. Do I have a reinforced guy? Reinforced advisor? I do have a disciplined guy. I'll take him. Trade efficiency, spy never construction. That, that guy might help out for the maps for Portugal. I like the trade efficiency, though. But let's go ahead and take the spy network. How much does our trade income de uh, decline from that? Ooh, it's actually half a ducat. Not bad. It's actually pretty significant. Then again, we're making six ducats a month at war. And that's with reinforcement, too, so we're doing okay. Uh, better infrastructure, rural infrastructure, urban infrastructure, production methods. I'm going to go ahead and go for the base tax, almost always. It pays itself off so quickly. Just so quickly. We've engaged the Tunisians, and it looks like we're going to win, I guess, as far as naval combat is concerned. Well, maybe not. Maybe Portugal is actually going to be less successful than I think. 
Oh shit, they moved up their they they've merged up their armies now. Uh let's actually pull back. Let's go in with um replenish here for a second. Let's go and move to engage the Tunisians. Cities demand old rights. Some loyalty for some legitimacy or lose stability. I have to lose the stability. 20 legitimacy is pretty significant. We're already at, I mean, we are at 99, but that's a lot, man. That's a lot to lose. Nice. I'm going to go to Garb. Somebody's at Garb. Who's at Garb? Moroccans, apparently. We're going to smash that force as well. Uh, Yeah, they lost. They lost quite a bit. Let's go back to Tangiers and replenish for a little while. About 13,000 men in the hole. We do have to wait for... for for a bit. How's their navy? 23 light ships. They've got no Carrick, so really they can't do much to me. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. I want to steal your maps. I need 50 spy power. Holy shit. That's quite a bit. I might not be able to steal any maps, actually, now that I really think about it. But I guess we'll give it a try. Five years ahead, or six years ahead on this. Yeah, we have to try and rush his exploration ideas, because I think he's actually advanced already quite a bit with exploration, so he's been he's been donating his points. I can even steal some stuff from the burgers if I wanted to. I could actually probably grant Monopoly charters, give them some more influence, and then demand some diplomatic support. I can't even demand support from the nobility, actually. They'd be pissed, though. I can ask for a contribution. I'm going to go ahead and stay for this 20 um, national tax modifier modifier here with the clergy. I'm going to keep up their loyalty. What's going on with these guys? The burgers. Ask for contribution. 160 ducats. Don't really need it. I'll stay away from it for now. For the diplo points, though, I think it's well worth it. A native policy. I usually go for native coexistence. If you want really good growth, you go for native repression policy for the global settler increase, but then you have to keep troops in the new world. Which I would prefer not to if I can help it. We're going to be, uh, we might actually be kept out here on, on military points. Um, I mean, if I can rush for this admin tech, I might be able to get an idea here pretty soon. For the clergy, demand administrative support. I think I will take that, actually. Make a generous donation. Uh, I can ask for a contribution from the burgers. I can't seek the support. Establish new world missions. Native simulation, native uprising. Send emissary to the Pope. Very curious. Hmm. I want to see if I can get this idea here. 1489. Two years. You might be kept on a point a little bit, though. Okay, we fully replenished. They're probably going to try and engage those uh, Portuguese over there. 42% chance on that fort. Let's try and reinforce there. No! You bastards lost that siege. Ooh, nice. Infantry combat ability plus 10%. Holy crap. Nice. How many troops? Damn it, we lost that damn siege, man. Although we did stack up the Moroccans. It's good enough for me. Going to hang on some of these forts. Holy crap, I'm out. My cat just meowed hell loud. <laughs> okay. Any siege value on my general? No. So we don't have to worry about sieges. Um, I just want to blockade everything. Primarily, that's my concern. Let's actually go ahead and engage over here. And um, yeah, there we go. I want to blockade him as much as possible. Nice, we're going to take Lemson here pretty soon. 20% on that already. Got some pretty good siege takes on that, I will admit. It's a pretty quick siege. Nice, excellent. Hi, Atlas protects us from um, movement. I think Figuig. They might come through Figuig and Kazdir. Oh, shit. Need to reinforce here and Fez. 
We took the, uh, the penalty, but that's all right. We were still victorious. So the Portuguese, are they going to sit here? I'd rather they didn't. Are you serious? Why can I not get to Lemson? Oh, because of the damn zone of control? Are you kidding me? Because of Fez? Holy gosh. Are we going to be capped out? No, we're going to be capped out. Shit. Unless there's some way that I can use to get some more mil uh, admin points for this idea group. I'd really love a military idea. It's, it's a long ways away, though. Even taking this, shit. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of military development, not much. There we go, not too much, just a little while. I guess I can send the Portuguese there, but I don't think I can. I actually don't even know what I want. I'm not, I don't even know what I'm going to demand. So, oh well. Uh, tensions between the nobles and the clergy. Jesus lived among beggars and fishermen. Why don't you? Uh, surely we do not want to anger his holiness. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the relations. Hit. Statue and Restraint of Appeals. Uh, I think not. Damn clergy, you're mad. I can make a generous donation. I can seek their support. Actually, no, I cannot do that. Make a generous donation for some loyalty, or I can just let it tick up for a little while. We're going to go ahead and just let it tick up. We're losing some money. That's alright, though. It's not too bad. You dirty bastards. They're going to go for garb. Let's go ahead and oblige them. Nice. Okay, what do I want from you, dude? You want to give me all that? Lemson and Tunis have aggressive expansion with me. War reps. And all your treaties. I think that's what I want. Lemson, Ouija, Fez, and Garb. Let's make it happen. We need 85 war score. Bring it on, motherfuckers. 349 admin to make that happen. My god. <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Let's do this. Probably going for Marrakesh. Ooh, no, they're actually retreating past Marrakesh. Okay. Well, in that case, then, uh, let's see. Actually, could I release somebody? I could release Fez. Lemson. Let's see. No treaties to Nis. Okay, so but do I actually want these? Maybe not Fez. Maybe I'll let Fez go. That's the capital, anyway. Let me try this. You want to do, you want to do this? Aggressive expansion? Sure, whatever. And all some treaties. You want to give me your claims? Uh, end of rivalry. Figuig for Lemson? No. Malia? Yeah, revoke your core. That's cool. Let's try that, actually. I think it's a little more appropriate. I don't really want the interior, per se. I kind of just want the coast. Oh, no. No, we're not going to take that. We need, we want the uh, military ideas. Yes. Hopefully we're not captain on points. Okay. Yeah, we lost some claims on these guys. I might take these. Wayron and Kazdir, I might just try and cut off... I want to cut off Tunis from Morocco. That's that'd be preferable. That'd be kind of cool.
Also, Lemson is a coastal center of trade. We should try and make that into a state. Uh, yeah, we have to core it, obviously. Okay. Come on, admin. Do it. Renaissance thought. The notion of a noble oligarchy ruling the societies existed since, well, at least the Roman times and remained popular in some parts of the world. Now this idea is once more gain po gaining popularity amongst those who matter. Burgundy declared one the Palantinate, huh? Dude, Saxony. The empire's gonna fall apart under your ass. What's wrong with you? I don't know. He's gonna drive this empire into the ground. It's 1489 right now. I forgot about these damn maps. I don't think we gained enough spy power anyway. Yes, military D group. Actually, my head on, am I a head on admin? Ooh, I am. I could actually go for expansion if I wanted to. Religious is also very nice. I usually, I would probably go exploration, expansion, and then religious. But, I mean, my armies are not bad, right? Morale of armies plus the discipline. And then we just get hell of colonists. Plus the, um, plus the missionary strength here, the Spanish Inquisition, no one expected it. Damn, I'm actually really kind of rooting for expansion here. Hmm. Military is nice, though. I've been ahead on tech for military forever. But expansion would help us out to just claim the new world. I'm going to actually go for expansion. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. We're going to change it up a little bit. I usually don't do anything like that. I always go military do groups. I was thinking for um, probably defensive. Combines with the morale of armies of our own troops. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and come back to the continent. Let's go ahead and reduce our maintenance here. Lose some money for, holy crap, one base tax in Mercia, Sevilla, Tangiers, and Burgos? That's such a good event. Wow. Wow. Um, I want... I think we're going to take this for the, for the quest for the new world. I need some explorers. We're going to go ahead and detach... Took trade in Sevilla. We're going to go ahead and detach these guys and then get the quest for the new world here. The next month. Excellent. Are we kept out of points here? I think we are once again. Um... Money or prestige? I'll go for the money. <clears throat> Speed of succession. Let's see. Here we're still... Yeah, we're still some years ahead. I can probably core some of this now. We can wait for the war exhaustion to come down a little bit more. Core creation cost plus 5.3%. I think we might have to save every single admin point we can get our hands on. We might wait for a little while. Damn, we have 406 trade power here. Holy crap, that's a lot. Let's get an explorer. Let's go ahead and send him on some missions. Come and explore for me, my awesome explorer. Can I change his name? I don't know. Colonial enthusiasm, a new life awaits you in the colonies. Settler chance and global settler increase. Nice. I'm the people controller? Awesome! Cool. What if I excommunicated your ass? That'd be curious. I know, who do you hate? Savoy, Ferrara, Florence? Huh. Yeah, I'll be stealing some maps, I think, from Portugal here in a little bit. 
That's definitely gonna happen. That's just believe. Okay, can I core all this now? I think so. I think we'll be fine. I think I'm fine to cure all of this. We need to own way Ron, apparently. I mean, I was gonna declare on, on Lemson, but we have a little bit too much aggressive expansion for my liking. Cool, we're getting some more force limit. I want to go for um, one more inventory, I think. We can take up this military tech here in like three months. We're still level seventh in the world now. Excellent. I could use some more colonies. I need some more colonies. I want some more colonists. Hell yeah. That's why we're focusing on um, Diplo and Admin. So we're going to take these two techs and then we'll be we'll be ahead. Burgundian conquest of Sundagao. Burgundy is allied with Brittany. Ooh, Burgundy declared war on Brittany. Really? Wow. You are some brave bastards. Uh, are you going to give me access, France? I don't think so. I don't think he would. Oh, I do have access. Cool. Let's go and invade Brittany. And deal with the Burgundians. I always love a good war. Holy shit, they do have a lot of troops, don't they? Ooh. Let's go and move in two army groups. Keep exploring. And we're going to take some military tech. Hell yes, we are. Holy crap. We're going to engage on the board. Uh, they got a minus two. The Burgundians, they have um, a little less morale. Same discipline as me. Okay, we've engaged and we've won quite significantly. Let's go and move on for Brittany. Uh, no, cancel that. Let's actually... Son of a bitch. We're gonna be engaged here. We have no leader in this stack. We're still gonna win. Wow, we actually still won that too. Antis. Yeah, we're blockading both of these here. Let's see if we can siege these down. Oh, I actually can't get to Nantes. Okay. We'll hang out here then in Anjou. Holy shit. Where'd all you guys come from? Whoa. All right, let's go back home then. I don't know where the hell these guys came from. Let's go and get them out of my country, though. So, uh, if I'm going to get... Uh, no, we need... Yeah, we need cores here. On uh, Lemson, that 13 development province there. Uh, what's going on here, man? I'm gonna engage them in Granada. We should get, uh, I actually, yeah, we're gonna get like a minus three there. Or a minus two. That's fine, though. It's a stack wipe of the Bre uh, Breton troops. Now they get a minus two, and they're also gonna get a stack wipe. Well, that worked out in my favor. We got rid of Brittany's army. And now we're going to move up to Siege Down Brittany, hopefully. Castillo, we have 43% participation in this war so far. Excellent. We're actually going to merge up a little bit out here in Madrid. There's some uh, Burgundians. Damn. There's some diligent bastards. Let's go merge up here. We have... Wow, we have no manpower, actually. We're out of manpower. Curious. Let's go and find our Explorer. Uh, yeah, do I want to gate or do I want to explore up in the North Atlantic? Yes, I do. Let's actually check out the colonial map mode here. 
Let's actually go ahead and go here then to Africa. We're gonna go to Africa and then I might stick in North America if I can. I'll go south if I have to for like some trade companies and stuff, but I actually want to try a North America game this time. Go to Canada and such. I could stick in, in um, Africa and Asia though. That'd be kind of interesting. Discovery of the New World, gain 50 prestige. Kick ass! Okay, so it looks like the Austrians are steamrolling over these guys. Yeah, we're gonna go for Anjou. Got colonialism against Portugal. Okay, it looks like we actually don't have, I think, enough uh, trade range to get over there. I think we're gonna have to get some more ideas before we get much. So I can't engage there at all, huh? Mm. We're taking 2.6% attrition here. It's pretty serious. We go for Orleans. Well, we won't catch them. We get a, um, a wall breach here, though. That's good. That'll help us siege down Brittany. We're going to make these guys pay dearly. In the meantime, though, um, before this episode gets too long, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.